The work session this evening uh, included a police department budgeting and grants update from police chief Andy Morgan. From that work session, we learned that, um, and we approved uh, later on, a 2024 COP grant application to increase our staffing levels of our police department. Uh, right now, we have 20 full-time police officers budgeted, but we have 17 current police officers. We have three vacancies. Um, and so we talking levels, uh, the percentages of police minimums and uh, the integrity of our well-trained, well-educated officers and the, and the things that the community have come to expect. So we did uh, discuss uh, the grant, um, adding additional officers to our GRPD and, and budgetarily what that would look like over time. Uh, we did hear also this evening um, that in 2023, the total calls um, were 10,708. More information, um, of course, is available on ICTV about that total uh, work session and meeting. So moving on to the city council meeting, this evening we conducted our oath of office for city councilor uh, Rick Blake. The public uh, is reminded that uh, in January, we did interview six applicants. We had eight total applicants, but six that showed up for an interview process. Rick Blake received the most amount of votes from that uh, interview process, and so he was uh, sworn in this evening and will be uh, serving the rest of this year and um, filling my council seat. Continuing on, we approved minutes. We approved the verified claims. We had... Um, Various items on the uh, consent agenda from the uh, golf course, the police department, uh, to uh, items related to uh, Yanmar Arena. We did create a climate action work plan committee. We uh, approved the application deadline and process and also approved Councillor McGregor to serve on that uh, temporary climate action work plan committee. Uh, if any residents are interested, it is a, we were heard, heard about a one-year commitment. Uh, applications will be received through the City of Grand Rapids webpage through uh, March 7th. We also uh, regrettably accepted the resignation of Officer Greg, Lee, Greg Lees from his position as patrol officer with the GRPD, and we did approve uh, the two posts, interview and hire for his open position. And that just uh, circles back to um, our staffing levels right now on our uh, police force and why we need to uh, do our due diligence and making sure that they are fully staffed and have what they need to be fully functional. We um, accepted a resolution for the right of entry agreement for the LNM Distribution Center project. Uh, the community will see construction uh, activity uh, happening as early as this spring on that site on Southeast 7th Avenue. And our last item this evening was to consider appointments to boards and commissions. Uh, we've made various recommendations to various boards and commissions as followed. Uh, Tom Stanley to the PUC board, uh, to the Human Rights Commission, Caitlin Dockin, Peggy Clayton, and Amy Blinquist, to the golf board, uh, Roger Mischke, and to the planning commission, Paul Bignall. Our next regular meeting is scheduled for March 11th, 2024 at 5 p.m. Thank you. Thank you.